Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here, and I'm here with Mixed Media Guy. Hello. So we are going to be doing some alcohol ink ornaments. And these are just clear plastic um, acrylic pieces from Artist Till Death. That's artisttilldeath.com. And it looks brown, but that's just because it has paper on the back that you peel off once you're done with your project. So it's a no mess cleanup. And no mess, no stress. Yeah, Johnny has never worked with alcohol inks before. True. So this is something completely new to him and we're gonna have some fun. Yeah. And uh, we're using Ranger and Pinata alcohol inks. I'm gonna actually leave these back here. Good idea. So we're just gonna have some fun. We picked out different color schemes. He's gonna be doing purple and then green on one and I'm gonna do warm colors. I haven't exactly decided, but here we go. So go ahead and pick up your first color. And we're gonna just start placing them on. Lettuce. Don't overdo it. Right. And then we're gonna be spreading these around. So I think on this first one, I will go with yellows and oranges, kinda. That's an interesting green, I'm not gonna use much of it. Yeah, well, with lettuce. Um, it's rotted lettuce. It's, yeah, it's gone bad, yeah. <laughs> Zoinks. You don't wanna put that in your salad. No. But it's actually a really pretty earthy green, I think. It probably is when it's dry. It right is. now it just looks <laughs> something else. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little terracotta on this one, which is a little more on the brownish side. I do have several like earthy tones here. Don't so get this more or less covered. And then what I like to do is take my finger and kind of just tap it out filling in any other spots. You don't actually even have to fill in the entire thing. That's totally up to you. And I'll make sure I have kind of a background here before going in and adding any metallics. And then it can be adjusted at this point too in terms of the color that you add. So go ahead and get your background already there. Tap, 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 sonora. <laughs> Okay, good. And then I like to take white. Uh, so this is very transparent right now. So I'm gonna lighten this up and make it opaque with a bit of white. Also not necessary, just what I prefer to do. And it'll bring out some other colors in there that seemed to, to kind of be hidden hmm. a bit. I'm gonna start with my highlighting. Okay. Because I dare be different. <laughs> so, you see that kind of brought those colors back out. And I do want to add a little more yellow into here, which adding that kind of on top of the white will make it more visible. There we go. <laughs> All right, and then I like gold. So I am also going to add some gold, which I think gold goes with everything personally. Oh yeah. I know there are other people that are more silver fans, but that's okay. One of the things I like about this gold, and this is the pinata gold, is that it really sits on top and it really expands, which I like. I've used the ranger gold, it doesn't do that. And if you have a favorite brand of alcohol ink, let me know in the comments. I am always looking to try new ones. I ended up with purple there. <laughs> you can't escape. Which color combination are you doing? I did greens, but oh. then I accented with magenta. <laughs> oh, okay. And I threw some white on there. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this one, actually. I I'm changed really my mind. I'm going to add more orange. <laughs> I'm going to add more orange. It got a little too light for me. Not a usual color combination here, and I, you guys probably know, but I, I usually do blues, but I decided to go with warms here. All right, so here's my first one, and now I'm gonna work on the second one, which is gonna be pinks and reds, primarily. And that gold really spreads, so. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I dig this, actually. I'm kind of feeling this. It's like a dinosaur egg. Nice. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so how easy was that? Pretty easy, pretty easy. Right, and they come out so cool. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, so starting with Johnny's, this one came out a lot more colorful. We got pink, purple, green, gold, all kinds of stuff in there. And then of course, purple and gold over here. And here's mine, yellow and orange, really unusual color combination for me. And then I did one with red and gold with little pops of pink in there. So there you guys go, alcohol ink ornaments. Very simple. Yeah. All right, so that's about all there is to these. Now in terms of sealing, there's a few ways and this is a completed one I just wanted to show you guys. So the cool thing about it being clear is it's beautiful on both sides. So this is the back and this is the front that I actually did the alcohol ink on. Now this one, I sealed it with resin, but you don't have to do that. You can use um, a sealer that's intended for alcohol ink. One of the best is the Krylon, which I'll put down in the description, just in case anyone has any questions. And then I generally just attach a little bow and it's ready to go. That right. I know. That's your, oh, it's ready to go. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.